Tatcha, do you believe that you need people? This is gonna be my intro because the doctor is talking to Tatcha at this point in time and the doctor is asking Tatcha, do you think you need people? So stay tuned to hear what Tatcha must say. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell and don't forget to give me a thumbs up whenever you watch my video. Guys, in today's episode, it is a continuation of the yesterday's episode. Ella was the one who opened the floor. Ella was asked about the trust. The distrust people have for her because so many people surround ella in a small nutshell telling her that she lies they don't trust her they feel like ella is this kind of person who will say this the next minute she will change her words especially venita and other people they did not trust ella but i have seen that there was an episode they begin to trust ella and they have let it go but now this therapy session so basically they will ask her whether she's still feeling that way or not and ella has said a lot she said that people did not trust her and that they have put her in a shackle whereby she did not even belong to and basically what she needed was to come to big brother niger and showcase her talent that is singing and she knows how to sing but the singing method or the singing skills she had was um maybe to do um something like jazz or you know ella's music is always slow jams and then it's not something that you can be dancing pararampam no it's a slow jam music you have to sit in your house like sitting there and singing so basically so many people don't like ella's method of singing so that's why she said that will she go for what people want or she will go for what she wants because what she's good in doing is to sing in that way but later now she have learned a lot but she's also contented with the little organic subscribers the little organic followers she have on her ig and twitter and that's make her to continue going and ella has said something which i said ella where you know the one who posted that you don't want to um do music again because of what is going on with your life and now ella is saying that even when she have accident and lost her two legs she will still do music even she lost her two hands she will still do music so ella this is the reason why people always don't want to trust you because you will say this today the next minute you change the words or twist the words so basically you just have to stick to one thing you know what you want you have a passion and you have a talent just go for it you have gone for three 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 consecutive times 2011 2012 and then 2019 you were finally chosen to be among the housemates and now that you came out i think you need to change you need to work on your self-esteem which even the doctor said ella need to work on her self-esteem you need to have a high self-esteem you have the talent you have the knowledge you have the skills you are beautiful. You are a beautiful African queen. So why are you scared of showcasing yourself? Instead, Ella needs to be validated. Anything she is doing, she needs people to validate whatever she is doing. And what the doctor is saying that is a no-no. Ella shouldn't allow anybody to validate for her. And she's also saying that there are sometimes she feels like people always drag her in a way she doesn't want it, but she doesn't have a choice. She has to live with it because it's a social life. Yes. And then did this affect your musical career she said in some part it does but in some part it wasn't and the housemates in the house did not really trust ella and ebuka said that ella has a small confined space whereby people do not trust her or people do not want to come to her so basically guys what do you think about ella let me know on the comment section but the prediction to ella was perfect validation she needs it too much and she have a low self-esteem which she need to work on so let's move on to tatia tatia's matter is all about confrontation confrontation because when you talk about Tatia you are talking about confrontation when you have a little problem with Tatia Tatia will just come and confront you and fight with you and the doctor is saying that Tatia went there in a form of being a CC or T-boss which Tatia never accepted and the doctor is trying to say that he knew that somebody would go there to be in a way um, CC was or T-boss was and exactly that was how Tatia was I don't know whether it is true that that was exactly what she wanted to showcase or she wanted to just to be herself but the doctor said that there was a moment where when you fight with Tatia Tatia would still remain to stand firm even when she have a beef with you in the night in the, in the morning Tatia will not greet you that's Tatia and he also said that Tatia is somebody who you know that who has been talking about her mom her mom her mom why because she made it happen by herself and god nobody else was there even his uncle wasn't there and now those are the people who are saying that tatia is my daughter tatia is my this tatia is my dad so basically when you have people know you your network speaks for you if you don't have like me nobody knows you tatia said that she understands that everybody needs someone but the times she needed them they were not there so that's the reason why she is hot and tatia i think you are trying to use somebody's stick to beat another person. They have done this to your life. 
Forgive them and move on. We are all bound to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. This is a piece of advice I have. So what do you think about this? She needs someone, so she needs to move on. All those people who have done it in her past, she's just ignored them. And she said that whenever she comes to you to tell you that she needs this, and then you are not really forthcoming, she will go for her plan B. And that's why she's always confident to herself. The 17th August is Taya's mother's birthday, and that is the same day Joe celebrated his birthday. And Taya said that she had been wishing everybody a happy birthday except Joe. And because of what? Because she doesn't want to break down. She doesn't want to cry, and then she knows that there are so many people who are looking up to her. So basically, she didn't want to cry in public. Ah, mm. Guys, let me know in the comment section because we all misinterpreted Tatcha in that situation. We thought that maybe she was bitter. So that's why she did not wish um, Joe happy birthday. So basically, I don't know. I don't know how it is. And now, Tatcha was also thrown a question that, does it affect you when you came outside the house? Because the Natasha you were and the Natasha you are now is different. She said it does affect her because most people thought that the way she was playing the game is the same Tatcha. So Tatcha was playing the game all this while, guys. So let us not take Tatcha serious. I think this is the real Tatcha we are getting right now. The Tatcha we got in the house was the Tatcha to showcase the Big Brother Niger show. <laughs> so this Tatcha is Natasha. The that one there, it was Tatcha. So basically, Tatcha just went there to give us the bully, the intimidation, the <laughs> a lot of things. Now, Dr. Oluwasewu is talking about Tatcha. The titans we rule because of the tatcha in the house tatcha is always on the high climax she's always high she's always ready to give it to you give it to me i give it to you and now she's saying that that was a wrong concept and she doesn't want her fans to be seeing her in that angle she have changed the narrative so the titans should change narrative as well that's what she's trying to explain here and then Tanya said something again. She said that during the AMBCA, she greeted everybody, especially Ella. Because Ella thought that Tatcha was so angry about what she had said about the body order. But she did that and she tried her best to smile with any, everyone so that they would feel like they are welcomed or she's not hot anymore. Because if she doesn't smile, they would think that, ah, it's the same Tatcha we are saying. So guys do you know that Tatya's smile mm -hmm. sometimes i don't trust Tatya's smile when Tatya smiles to you it means a lot it means a lot but anyway i love her strongness and then i love her confidence and i also love her hard work so what do you know about Tatya? let me know in the comment section but i'm still watching to complete and come back here okay the doctor is trying to say that we have the adaptive we have the maladaptive most of the time we go to the maladaptive Cyberbullying is out there, so we all need to prepare for it when you are social because cyberbullying is, is something that is chronic and when you allow it to get into you, it's going to rule you. So Tatya is now talking about her disqualification. The doctor said that he has predicted where before Tatya was disqualified. So it means that Tatya disqualification, she deserved it. That's what he is trying to say because so many people thought that and Tatcha has said it just now that um, they thought that Tatcha was just disqualified. It was bias. But I think Tatcha was being won, 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 won until it came to disqualification. We all never wanted her to be disqualified in that way. But I think that was the, 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 that was the end of the journey for her. But it didn't give her any bad reputation outside because it even helped her more. Tatcha even seems like somebody who have won because the world lost Tatcha and then the, what they have seen in her is what they are really trying to um, believe in and I think her titans are very strong that's what the doctor said so basically Tatcha's disqualification was a blessing for her in any disappointment you see there is a blessing so her disqualification was a blessing for her okay guys so let's continue watching Please subscribe. Don't hesitate to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Please, guys, do it for me. <laughs> guys, I forgot to add something on Tatcha's matter. This doctor has been following Tatcha even before going to the house. Okay, doctor, come. Doctor, let me ask you. Before Tatcha going to the house, what were you following about Tatcha? Can I know, doctor? <laughs> 
pretty girl with plenty swags. Doctor, why were you following her? Doctor, let me know. <laughs> Guys, don't mind. I'm trying to crack joke. Guys, Tasha is also asked when she came outside the house, how does she felt about the disqualification? And she's so seen that it really weighed her down because she never wanted to leave the house in the way she left the house. That was so embarrassing. It was something that she never expected because I knew that Tata was so confident to herself that she is going to live in the house till the end. Either she win or not, she'll be in the house. No leave, no transfer because she's always up for nomination for possible eviction. But Tata normally conquer it because of her fans. And when she came outside the house, she said that she was so happy that she had met people who love her the way she is. And the way they welcomed her made her to forget that she even came out in a way that was not even expected from her. So in a nutshell, she said she also thought of the time her mom was not there. That time she was just like that nobody knows her. Nobody was there to see her. Nobody was there to consolidate her or to talk to her. It was just her and her sister. And everything was done like she's the mother, she's the auntie, she's the big sister. But now things have changed. And which she have thanked God for that. And then it's all about God, not just her. You know, I told you guys that this is very educative. I'm really learning a lot. It's okay not to be okay. If some someone tells me, how are you? I can say I'm not fine. So it's okay not to be okay. Don't pretend. And that was fraud. Because fraud was just fraud. The doctor said that fraud has really played the game very, very well. He got people through, through his emotional feelings. You know, fraud cried a lot in the house. And the doctor was also trying to say that fraud was just fraud because fraud heart was just here. He's so emotional and fraud is also weak. That was the reason why people even call him a woman rapper. And the way the doctor is analyzing I really appreciate it because he's really talking to them the way they are. He's not trying to beat around the bush to tell who you are. He's just trying to tell you who you are. So if you want to amen, you are on your own. If you don't want to amen, it's left to you. So basically, Fort is going to respond right now. So let's listen and come back in. <laughs> real men don't cry. So real men, they don't cry, okay? But sometimes they go to the corner and cry. So everybody is talking about fraud's emotional. Guys, let me tell you something today. Do you know I'm also a crybaby? The people who know me, they know that I cry a lot, especially when I'm hot. And as fraud said, crying cannot solve a solution for you, but it can reduce anger. And it can make you not to act stupid at that particular event or that particular action. So whenever you are hot, sit at a corner and cry it must not be like you should cry to people to see you but cry and then wipe out your tears and behave like nothing has happened but front on was different front was just crying everywhere even the young ones were trying to um trying to intimidate him because of the way he cries and for the relationship matter the doctor said that he would have a session with front and go deep into the relation matter and for now, let relationship not disturb him. Let him move on. I think it's very important. For me, therapy should not even be in open space. It should be in a closet. Yes, in a wardrobe. <laughs> Show that they can let out their problems. They can tell you their issues. But anyway, it's good because we all are learning from it. And Frog is trying to say that he grown up in a family whereby her mother taught him how to be a woman and how to be a man. So that's why he was so emotional. I understand that throat is a mother's pet. So basically, when you are a mother's pet as a man, you are always emotional. But you are always caring and kind-hearted. I bet you, someone out there might be feeling the same way throat is feeling. Or acting more than what throat has done in the house. So you cannot predict people. And people misunderstood throat and that, was, that wasn't. But doc the doctor is trying to tell throat that throat was the one who put himself into that tight corner for people to misinterpret him or to misunderstand him and he need to work on that fraud is making us to understand that he has been exposed in more than 60 million before even coming to the house but when he was coming to the house that time it was everything was recessioning so most of the companies he was working for they were not really making money 
and he was bankrupt. He was out of cash when he was coming to the house. So most people thought that he was there to play the game. And then you know, Frot left her mother on a surgery. And today is the day I knew what the mother's surgery was. It was two more. Oh, it's too bad. And my sister had it before and then she did her surgery, but thank God it's okay now. So it's something that is so serious because when you go for surgery, you need to plan everything to work out well. And now, Frog left that situation outside and he came into the house. No wonder why he was so emotional. No wonder. And then people love him because the way he was. So basically, Frog is trying to make us understand that we shouldn't misinterpret him. He was not playing the game, but he was just being himself. Okay, guys, this was all about today's episode and i hope that you guys will learn from this because this episode is very educative and yesterday's episode it is the same thing as well so please don't hesitate to subscribe on my channel and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the notification bell so i'm giving shout out to all my african viewers and my diaspora viewers the diasporans i love you all the africans i love you all Mwah! see you guys in another video Bye bye Mwah.